Hey, Frank here at the Studio Center, and the reason you're here is because you're thinking about submitting a script to a place called Sacramento. That's sort of a film festival that we have here every year, but it's really kind of cool. Um, actually, I've had a lot of my movies in a place called Sacramento, helping out a lot of uh, beginning filmmakers, script writers, and um, you probably we're going to put over on the screen here, I've done actually about 15. And the only reason I'm telling you that is because that's going to be kind of convincing you I know what I'm talking about. Actually, out of that 15, there have been a number of award winners also, like this one, and was also an award winner right there. And this one, another award winner. And these two, other award winners. Woohoo! Now this one was the last one we did. Yeah, it was pretty good, pretty good. Okay, well follow me back in the studio. Let's talk about this. A place called Sacramento is not really a film festival. It's, I hate to break this to you, but it's a fundraiser. It's a fundraiser for an organization called Access Sacramento. Now Access Sacramento, wonderful group, they teach people how to do television shows. And this is mostly for beginning people. But the key there was, this is television. Access Sacramento is made up of people who do television. They're not filmmakers. They have no affinity for filmmaking at all. How did they come by doing this, a place called Sacramento? Well, it, was, came, it came up as an idea to be simply a fundraiser for the television system that Access Sacramento is. But be that as it may, we get to use it as a filmmaking venue for those of us that love making movies, okay? So use the thing for what it is. They, they do a very good job. This, uh, this was started under uh, the auspices of Ron Cooper, who is one of the, uh, if not the original, general manager of Access. And uh, Ron did a wonderful job in putting this together. How people like me got involved was, Ron and Marty Anaya, who were uh, working together at Access Sacramento, realized that most of these scriptwriters didn't have the wherewithal to put together a movie. They were actually scriptwriters, and some of them have never picked up a camera in their life. So Ron and Marty realized that if these things were going to get made, maybe they should bring in some pros to help make the films. And that's why they called me, and that's how I ended up making 15 movies for Access Sacramento. I didn't write most of them. They were mostly written by other people. I've written a couple of them, like uh, Yard Sale, Beatrice and the Bike Thief, and a couple of others. But most of the others were written by other people. And this gave me an, a unique perspective on how the movies were judged and who was selected. Because in fact, the first movie I ever made was never originally selected by the judging panel. And that's kind of the key. Who are these people? What are they like? What do they want to do? What, what do they want to see from you? And how do they judge what you give them? That's what we're going to talk about. So a place called Sacramento is really a great opportunity for those of us that are filmmakers. How does this whole thing happen? Well, the first thing they do is they send out a, a notice of uh, a request for submissions of scripts, which is where we are right now. They'd like to see your scripts. It turns out about 70 scripts are generally submitted every year. Now, about 70, so you're one out of 70. But the good news is about half of those are going to be thrown out immediately. Why? Because they're not in the right format and because maybe they'll hit on some themes that are no-nos to a place called Sacramento. A place called Sacramento is a very family-friendly event, which means no blood and gore, no horror movies, no sex scenes. Okay, you can kiss somebody, but you know, nothing hardcore here. And so it's got to be very family friendly. People who don't understand that get their script tossed immediately if they have some kind of horror movie in the catacombs of downtown Sacramento or whatever. Most of the others will get their scripts tossed because there's no story. We've had people, you know, talking about travel logs and things like that. No, it's not about that. They do want story narrative films. So about half of them get tossed. That means you're down to about 30 scripts. Now there are 10 slots in the film festival itself, and I'm using that term lightly, of course. 
there are about 10 slots. So that means if you're in that group of 30 that made the first cut because you're listening to this program and you understand why and how you're going to write this thing, okay, you now have about a 30% chance right off the get-go of being selected. We're going to get you into that top 30% though, the 10, one of the 10 scripts that will be selected into making a movie.